back to Tony Scott and his films Deja Vu, Domino, and Enemy of the State. I rewatched Enemy of the State last night. Um, found the Seattle false flag in it. Of course, 9/11 clearly in it, and also Hawaii. Yeah. So here we go. Second scene of the movie starts at the um, November the 30th date, which was the um, Route 91 harvest. You know, that was supposed to be the date for the Seattle false flag, but they have delayed. Um, there's your 23, your 13, your 113, 311. It's all there anyway. But I'm back to the 13th. Wednesday is the next hot date. That's two days' time. So let's get on with this. Enemy of the state, the um, Seattle false flag. Here it is. Okay. Blink and you'll miss it. He's, you know, they have to be a bit subtle. Thousands of dollars on the lawyers just like you because of the lawyers just like you. Actually, I believe the slur shyster is generally reserved for Jewish attorneys. I believe the proper slur for someone like myself would be uh, eggplant. Boom. This kid gets brain every time I see him. There you go. Boom. And then you see a space needle type object. That's as close as you'll get. Okay? Boom. And then that. You won't actually see the Space Needle, but in Domino, <laughs> yeah, in the Tony Scott film Domino, what gets blown up? Look, there it is. The Stratosphere, Las Vegas, Space Needle, the Isis Ra holding up the globe thing. Yep. I can play this, well, I'll just play a little bit. There it is, you see. <laughs> And it's, uh, like I said, it's a Afghanistan, Afghani um, Muslim guy. Of course, they have to show a Muslim guy blowing up the Space Needle. Oh. There you go. There's your Space Needle blowing up. Okay, so he made it very clear in Domino. Less clear in this film, but there it is. Boom. And a space needle object, and then it just comes off screen. You you blink and you'll miss it. Now, let's get to the 9/11 as well. That's a, that's a good one in this. Let's run the photo ID. Randall Thomas Bryan, born 9/11/40, attended Episcopal School. There you go, 9/11/40. Right, so there's your 9-11, and then... There you go. You saw the building blow up and go down in, in controlled demolition style, huh? 9-11, and then you see that, okay? Um, one more scene in this. I can't remember exactly where it is, um, but it is, it's Hawaii, yeah. Um, another blink and you'll miss it scene. Um, Will Smith is wearing a, a T-shirt with 22 on it, and they're choosing shirts for him to wear, and uh, Gene Hackman um, gives him one of his Alo Aloha shirts, Right, and then he says, "I'll oh, say hello hard to it," and then they go. But basically, there you go. There's your Hawaii reference, and then twenty-two. So, you know, what another three two two again? Another March the twenty-second? I don't know. But if there's something gonna happen, gonna be made to happen in, in Hawaii, don't be surprised if it's on a twenty-second. So that's uh, that's all three. Yeah, all three in this interview of the state. 11 sharks. I know, that's a pr shyster is generally reserved for Jewish attorneys. I believe the proper slur for someone like myself would be uh, eggplant. Boom. This kid gets brighter every time I see him. 